to my channel, Kicks for Fresh. Now, if you're new here, I go by K Fresh, and on today's video, I'm going to be doing a clothing haul by Nike. So as you can see, I already have this Just Do It tee. Got this for Christmas, you know. Went ahead and hit my dad up and said, you know, I need a new hoodie. And then also, I do have the website up here. So if you are a Nike head like I am, you know, they got some sales going on. So you might want to do like a little 20% or something like that. But before we even get into the logistics of this video, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because you know what? You don't want to miss out on any more heat from your girl kicks refresh. So now that we got this out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I got. Tell you some little, a couple, you know, stories about who I am and what, you know, maybe become a Nike head. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we can go ahead and talk about it in the comment section. So first thing first to note, most of these items I picked up under retail, obviously. And then I also use some coupon codes and I had some gift cards. And so I don't want you all thinking, dang, you got all that for, you know, $100 when one one item usually costs you 50 to 60 to 70 and maybe even $100. And then if you purchasing shoes, it might cost more than that. I just want to let you know that I got a little, you know, some discounts going on. But I think I purchased five different items. Um or four, maybe, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the box here. So, we got a box. Obviously, it's got that Just Do It tape on there. Why, why they keep, y'all, why they keep doing that to us? But I don't even have a knife. I'm not even prepared for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and rip this open real quick. Um, so, like I said, I have no idea. I can't even remember what I bought because coronavirus been on my brain, so I ain't got time. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I got some pants. Suggested retail is fifty dollars. Um, I have to show y'all, tell y'all what the price was that I actually paid on one of these items. But I do have some amazing Nike tights here, um, women's. This is the tight fit regular length. Um, basically, on the um, leg here, we do have that Nike symbol. <laughs> The Nike and the Swish. Love this. It goes perfect with my hoodie. So that's the first item that I got. Now, story time. Um, My first memory of when I feel like I just love Nike, um, I think it started back when I was like in maybe fourth or fifth grade. So my dad used to play basketball um, on the Army base. So I'm from Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Um, and I was born on the base. My mom was in the military, but my dad used to play on the base all the time. And I'm a daddy's girl, so he would take me to the games and I would just sit there and watch them play. And he would always wear like all the new Jordans that was coming out and all, you know, the shorts and things like that. So, you know, I wanted to get, you know, what my dad had and I wanted to play basketball. So probably fourth or fifth grade, I started asking my dad like, hey, you know, like, can I get a pair of those shorts? And so um, that was probably my earliest memory of like understanding like what Nike was and understanding like that that, that was a brand and that like you could go to the store and actually like look for those items. And so I was I was hooked from fourth or fifth grade. And then um, you know as I kind of got clothes and started having shoes and things like that, it just blossomed even more. And so this is my first item. I'm looking at this too. The stitching on this come through Nike like look at that stitching that's awesome so that was my first item and my first story that I want to tell so I'm looking at the packing slip it doesn't say how much these cost but hopefully there's something else in the box where I can tell y'all how much I actually paid for the tights so the second bag is um probably has more stuff in here and I hope this is all my stuff because it's seeming like it ain't a lot Again, it came into this package. First of all, let me show y'all this package, which you can't really tell that it says just do it on here, but I don't ship all my, I ship none of my packages home because I already know people out here in St. Louis, they will literally like see your Nike package and be like, oh, okay, that's mine. So I have a bag of stuff. Oh, I purchased some socks. Um, So I got some Nike socks because we always need more Nike socks. So this is a three pack. Um, if you can see here, it does have the Nike and the swoosh on there. Um, these are basically, what do you call, oh, the, the crew socks. So, got three pair of those. Like I said, I have a ton of white socks, but I needed some more black Nike socks because, 
you just you just gotta have varieties so my other story time that i have about when i first started you know liking the nike brand and like really getting involved um so the first shoe that i remember having as a kid believe it or not it was the jordan 13 flint and so 98 you know was a good year for your girl because her daddy went ahead and read up and got them flints for your girl i'm telling you you couldn't tell me nothing like when i went to school i think i was like in fifth or sixth grade like i was stopping at a you know at the stop sign being like let me let me go ahead and check my shoes out let me go you know dust them off wipe them down and that to me was like oh wow like i know that like jordan obviously got the deal with with nike and so i'm just like wow like it's it's so cool that like this basketball player that my dad idolizes when he play you know plays basketball and then now i have a pair of shoes that you know definitely like everybody wanted to have and at that time like jordan was big i mean he's big now but he was actually playing and in the game so you couldn't tell me nothing when it came down to getting them jordans having my nike fit on i was a tomboy to the max i still wear these things like and can't nobody tell me nothing because that's just me but that's my other story i kind of like this theme when i like unwrap an item and then also tell a story so i'm gonna keep going with that so the next item that i have is another pair of tight fitting leggings um i just love leggings because i feel like i can like wear them with my shoes and especially if i'm wearing like high tops or you know jordan one like the og or the retro like doesn't matter to me put it on these you can dress them up you can dress them down it doesn't matter and i'm just i'm here for it but anyway i'm gonna show you like the quality oh y'all the quality on this is amazing so these ones also have the nike um on the leg in black so they're gray like a heather gray see the nike and the swoosh on the leggings again very nice quality <laughs> again you guys kind of have that threading that i really like i don't know if you can see this y'all okay here we go kind of have that threading and then you do have the band here around um on the hips for just a nice tight fit and these also suggested retail was $50 on these as well. Um, another story time. So, um, unfortunately, basketball did not work out for you, girl, because I was just overweight my whole life. So, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I wanted to play basketball. I wanted to, um, you know, do everything that, you know, a lot of my, what my dad was doing. So, I actually joined a community basketball team. Um, and I did play um, power forward on that basketball team and I played for like two seasons and just all that running just it wasn't for me y'all like I was eating too much probably and just really didn't understand what it meant to be like an athlete um, I was very good like I had a smooth jump shot I'm gonna tell y'all I'm left-handed so you know I had that uh, the MJ fade away but I just couldn't get my physical body together to be able to play um had i been more disciplined i probably would still be playing you know to this day not professionally or anything like that but just playing in general and really trying to use that as an opportunity to stay fit so um very sad that i didn't continue that with my life but um always had a basketball goal at the house always wanted to make sure that i had a basketball you hear what i'm saying i went to a globe charter game and i cried i had to try to find that picture i cried because my dad was able to get one of the globe charters to sign my basketball and i was literally holding it like like crying like i'm traumatized just even telling that story because i'm embarrassed but that's another story for you um not necessarily the nike brand but you get the idea of playing basketball wanting to wear the nike brand and things like that Okay, so the last item that I'm pulling out of this bag is, unfortunately, another pack of leggings. I don't know why I bought all of these leggings. It's probably because I have a whole bunch of shirts and I have a whole bunch of hoodies. So I'm like, I need leggings. And I have another pair of leggings that's like 
got the Nike and the gold swoosh on there. It's like a glitter. Those are my favorites. So if you follow me on Kicks Refresh on my Instagram, scroll down a couple pictures and you go ahead and like that picture of me holding my little Crown Royal drink. Didn't have Crown Royal in it, but you know, the little cup that has a little Crown Royal in the bottom or whatever, whatever. And you know, I'm just smiling, doing my thing. I had braids in, so you'll see a whole bunch of different hairstyles for me. Um, but anyway, so it's another pack of leggings and these were suggested retail $50. Um, they are black and instead of um, them being like the gray ones, you do have the um, white Nike check on those. So again, very, very comfortable, very soft, y'all like <laughs> hoping. And then obviously you do have the threading on here. I think um, this one also has the black band around it um, for just like hopefully a comfortable fit. Now I hope I can fit these because I got a 2X and sometimes 2Xs be feeling big and maybe it's cause I think I'm like bigger than I thought I was, but um, I've always struggled with weight. So I just try to get things like super big, but I know like for leggings, you want to try to be as tight as possible, not too tight, but as tight as possible so you do have that comfortable snug fit um so my last story that i have to tell about you know nike and things like that so i actually in 2014 i um between 2014 and 2015 i lost almost 100 pounds so i was going to the gym you know four days a week i was riding my bike to the gym i was doing all the different classes that was a time for me to um I was in grad school, so I was like, you know, I want to change my life. I want to be healthier. You know, I want to do the things that I normally wasn't able to do, like just even like walking up hills and things like that. And so I did lose a crap ton of weight and um, I actually won a contest. So really quickly, I am in love with Mariah Carey. I absolutely like adore love Mariah Carey. And I'll try to put like a little picture right here to show you all the contest that I had. Um, the contest that I won, but basically she did a contest that was for, um, to be able to like, uh, like FaceTime her at the time. I think it was like Zoom or Skype or whatever. And then you also could win like some perfume and like a gift or something in the cash prize. I don't even remember how much cash prize was, but I ended up becoming a finalist and winning the contest. However, y'all, how I'm literally about to cry. Just saying, but, however, why did Mariah Carey break her arm? At a, on a video shoot and she had to be rushed to the hospital and all these other things so they canceled my zoom chat with her she sent me a really nice um letter and then also she sent me a hundred dollars um to shop at Kohl's because basically her perfume was coming out exclusively with Kohl's and so um and Elizabeth Arden I think it was like a I can't even remember what it was apparently I'm not that great of a fan in the lamb because I don't even remember but the story was, is like once I got the $100 gift card, because I had been working out so much and I wanted to use that car on something that I could treat myself with, I actually purchased a whole bunch of Nike workout gear. So I got like them like a compression shirt and just like different um, like air wicking shirts. And so I got it in like red, black, blue, and green or whatever. And so I like to thank Mariah Carey because she did still send me a gift card um, that I could buy whatever I needed to buy. And that was just a really cool time in my life. So if I can find it, I'm gonna actually go downstairs and see if I can find it. And then I'm gonna show y'all because it's for real y'all. Like I literally <laughs> won this contest or was a finalist, I don't know, but I'm really sad because I wanted to meet Mariah Carey, but it's cool. So basically that is all I have for you all today. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below, are you a Nike head? Do you prefer any other brand in terms of, you know, styling it with your shoes or comfort or basketball, things of that nature? Also make sure to um, subscribe to the channel. Please make sure to share this video. I need more of you all to share. Please, please support, you know, this woman sneaker head here trying to do big things. Hopefully I hit on the um, women's OG Jordan that's coming out on the 19th that is a collab with Melody Asani. Um, I really, really want those shoes and I want to be able to unbox them for you. But if I don't get them, it's cool because I'm actually only purchasing one shoe a month. So I'll just find like another shoe that I can purchase. I'm thinking of maybe doubling back and going to get like another maybe the pine greens i don't know i did a review on those and i did really like them but i didn't pick them up 
Okay, y'all, so I found it. So I got sent this big box and it had this in here, which was the color of the fragrance. Um, it's like called Forever or something, I can't remember. And then I have the letter. But anyway, it has my name on there. And um, basically has um, Dear K Fresh. As you already know, you were selected as one of the finalists for the Mariah Carey Dreams Dream Big Contest. Unfortunately, we had to cancel the Google Hangout. That's what it was. I thought it was a Skype. Google Hangout with Mariah, but we hope you enjoyed this prize pack. In close, please find a $100 Kohl's gift card and an autographed carton of Mariah's new fragrance, Mariah Carey Dreams. That's, that was the whole. I was trying to, I ain't a good fan because I don't even remember all this. Please continue to follow Mariah Carey and um, follow us at Mariah Carey and at Facebook.com slash Mariah Carey for all the latest updates about Mariah Carey fragrances. So just so y'all know that I ain't lying, I won. Well, I was a finalist. I said I won, but you know, same thing. So that was really cool because I spent the hundred dollars and I got some stuff that I needed to work out. I hope you like this video. Thank you. But like I was saying too, um, this is the uh, women's Air Jordan OG that I got a couple months ago. And like I said, the designer Melanie Asani is working with, is collaborating. She's got this all black. I'm gonna put it up here so you can see it. But I just really, really need them shoes. So if you know somebody who could hook me up, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put my head in and make sure. This is so dope. If you haven't seen my um, unboxing and review and on foot of this, make sure to check that out as well. Just go ahead and binge your girl. Like y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all at home doing like with the coronavirus. So. I mean, y'all not y'all had a coronavirus, but y'all, y'all, y'all hibernating is what I'll say. So just go ahead and check your girl out. Um, but you know, it's been real. Thank you so much for watching this.